hello youtubers and welcome to my channel today i'm coming up to you with a short unboxing of my brand new burberry toiletry and we're going to take a look at it this is what it looks like in its dust bag i am by the way at the gym unboxing this so that's why hopefully the sound won't be too bad because i'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit and this is what it looks like And they had two sizes and this is the small size and this is what it comes with Burberry London England and it's called the small cosmetic pouch and this is a quite new model according to the sales assistant and this is leather and it's soon on and it also has some leather trim here as you can see uh, in the same way that for example speedy from louis vuitton has and this is how it is when you open it let's see if i can do this sorry i needed both hands and this is it has one large compartment with a white wool interior and inside here you can see let's see if we can zoom in burberry even though this is the small size, this is still roomy enough to fit my everyday essentials when it comes to hygienic things. Uh, shampoo, body wash, conditioner, soap, all of that. I plan to use this and take it with me in my handbag or in my gym bag. It's also perfect for, I sometimes have unexpected overnights that I have to do at work. And it's also perfect if I'm just traveling for less than, I would say, a week. The size is perfect for travel size bottles. In general, I purchase the full size bottle and then I just pour over to travel size bottles. Uh, mainly because they, it's convenient. They are a lot... Um, I mean, you can, you can fit everything like shampoo, conditioner, all of that in one one toiletry and because if i would have the full size bottles i would need a huge toiletry which i would be probably bothered about taking with me everywhere uh, so this is a travel size that i purchased when i was flying some years ago and then i've just continued purchasing the uh, the full size bottle and pour over some liquid hand soap and now i have from rituals this is the body mud and i also have a body lotion there you go and i also have which i won't completely show you but a clean pair of underwears in a hygienic just plastic bag and a padlock because uh, at the gym here in Sweden, at least, you have to take or bring with you your own padlock or you can purchase one before you could rent them. Now you can't. So it's, I mean, who purchase a padlock every day? So I just, and I take it with me and I have it where I have my hygienic things. So I know that I won't miss it. I always have it with me. When it comes to perfumes, I also always use travel travel refillers so i used for example this is a hundred milliliter bottle but it fits in this as well even though i wouldn't bring it with me but just to give you an idea and um, i've been looking for this size which for me was the perfect size in other brands like louis vuitton and chanel uh, louis vuitton have have some of them that i was looking at for a while uh, they were a little bit too large though and the price was or is in my opinion a little bit too high mainly for that this is something that you in the end risk spilling something in uh, this has by the way i think i said it before a wipeable interior but still you the expensive item is the more careful in my opinion i feel like i have to be but also mainly why I didn't decide to go for a Louis Vuitton after all is that I think that the quality has deteriorated really much and you have to do like your own quality control of the item that you purchase. And I think that is insane. So in a way, I am a little bit uh, 
I will purchase something if it's just something that is a special limited edition that I really want and I can find really decent exemplar. But that is pretty much it. I have noticed that you can find pieces that are in much better quality on the secondhand pre-loved market. Just be careful to purchase from places and people that you do really trust. With that said, this is an item that is really new. Uh, I can though highly recommend it. I have other Burberry items and in general they are in really really good quality. So this is a luxury thing. Still not you you can still pretty much get two of these more or less for one item at Louis Vuitton. Uh, I had a voucher and I paid 350 or 340 euros. I think the full price was about 360 more or less. But before I have actually just used cheap uh, cheap um, travel pouches or nest, um, toiletries, uh, but I decided to, to get something more, a little bit more proper. And also because I've been so much more aware of the moral and ethical issues with fast fashion brands. I'm not going to mention anyone. And before, I think still... I still purchase sometimes items from these stores, but I do think that you, um, when you have the finances, uh, that you also have a responsibility to sometimes not choose the things that you know that are not made in a proper way. But I would never blame anyone who does, who especially don't have the sufficient money for it, because I've been there as well. I mean, for example, when you're just a student, and I, also when I grew up, we hardly had money for anything uh, that was out of what you did need for the day. So with that said, now I'm starting to another topic, which wasn't the point. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's all from me for today. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.